ones that lived a hacker in the name Shiva. In his hometown of Camden, he lived with his mother Lalita, brother Dilip, and a sister-in-law Tavi. One fine day, Shiva receives a phone call. Tears struck in the eyes of Shiva when he attended the call, cause he was shocked by the news. The news was that his brother Dilip had passed away. Shiva immediately travelled back to his hometown. While travelling back in the train, all of the childhood memories he spent with his brother comes by his eyes. After completing all of the final rituals of his brother, Shiva sadly sat with a mind full of sorrow. At that particular time, he receives another phone call. After attending the call, he realizes that it was the doctor on the other side. The doctor explains that there is some kind of a conspiracy in the death of his brother and he asks him to come and meet him immediately. Shiva immediately accepts and goes to meet the doctor. After Shiva met the doctor in person, doctor exclaims to Shiva that your brother has not been dead by accident. The report says that he was brutally murdered. Shiva is shattered by this news. And to unveil what the truth was, Shiva goes to meet a detective agent. Shiva explains that there is some conspiracy in the death of his brother and wants detective to help him out. But the detective asks him, how can you be so sure of it? What proof do you have? How can you conclude that this is a murder? This is what the detective said. Shiva immediately shows the doctor's report. And after analyzing the report, the detective agent immediately accepts to help him out with this case. Both of them decide to go and meet Shiva's family in his hometown. They inquire about this to Dilip's wife and his mother. Only after the investigation, they realize that Dilip was undergoing severe depression at that time. Along with that, they get some more information. During the difficult phase of depression, his friend Ravi was very helpful to him. Immediately, Shiva and the detective both go and meet Ravi and ask him about this personally. Ravi says, at the time of death, someone with a long katana knife was roaming around the house of Dilip. So, it might be a reason why he got murdered. So, they set out to go and ask him some questions. He exclaims that he was just making TikTok videos and he was playing around. But if you don't believe me, go ahead and check my phone. By saying this, he hands him over his phone. After seeing the TikTok videos that he had recorded in his mobile, they both find out that someone is secretly leaving the lips house. They find out that it is the local wizard who practices evil rituals. After a deep investigation, they find out the location of the wizard and hand him over a photo of the day. They even ask the wizard if he knew who was in the photo. The evil wizard is shocked by seeing the photo. The detective immediately starts to suspect the wizard and immediately asks Shiva to trace the call of the evil wizard and who he was contacting. After having tracing the calls, the evil wizard contacts someone secretly. As you already mentioned, two people came and searched for the lip but I somehow managed and escaped from them. Shiva collects all the information that he received from the phone call and gives it to the detective. Both of them sent a spy to the evil wizard to investigate more about in this case. The spy goes to the evil wizard and says, the fact that you have killed Dilip is known only to you and my boss. So he has sent me to finish you off. The evil wizard immediately jumps and tries to escape. The detective jumps into action and saves him from the spy. After all this happening, the evil wizard decides to tell all the truth that happened. Three months ago, Remy came to meet him. He explained that his business was going into a loss. I performed a lot of remedies, but everything was in vain. In the end, I finally came to a conclusion to perform a human sacrifice. But if he had to give a human sacrifice, the person has to come forward by themselves. Ravi immediately thought about it and brought me a candidate. He was the one who I did the human sacrifice with. But I did not know that it was your brother. This is what the witch told. After that, Siva became intensely angry. He went towards Ravi and forcibly asks him how he managed to make his brother accept himself as a human sacrifice. What did you tell to change his mind? He asked. Ravi 
sarcastically replied, You are the one behind all of this. Shiva is shocked to hear this and he froze for a second. Ravi once again said, You are the reason behind this. What wrong did I do? exclaimed Shiva. Ravi explains, From his childhood, whatever your brother did, you used to outperform him in all fields of life. So you were the one who got the name and fame that created a great jealousy for your brother towards you. You went out to outperform in all aspects of life and you became rich. This in turn created a deep depression for your brother. He even became psychotic to a certain extent. So I made use of this situation for your own convenience. I also secretly told him that if you die, your brother will also die. So he readily agreed for the human sacrifice. After getting caught red-handed, Ravi shoots at Shiva with a pistol. The bullet barely misses Shiva and he escapes. After hearing gunshots, the detective comes to the scene and shoots at Ravi's hand and the gun falls down. The detective said, Game's over, Ravi. You have to surrender now for his own self-defense. She pushes the gun that was fallen down towards Shiva. In a fraction of a second, Ravi pushes off the gun from the detective's hands. He picks up the gun and bashes up the detective very badly. Meanwhile, Shiva picks up the gun and points it to Ravi and says, You have to stop this now. But Ravi says, <laughs> But the game is over only when I say it's over. This is the limit, Ravi. You're compiling crime after crime. Without hesitation, the detective beats Ravi with the elbow. Within a fraction of a second, Ravi could not understand what exactly was happening at that moment and finally realizes that he has nowhere to run nor hide. Finally, the culprits are behind the bars. 